The focus of much of Kent's current work is his painful divorce in process from his wife, Angie. I'm still going to Los Angeles, but I'm not going to take Angie. Sorry, honey. <laughs> I think I'm, I, well, we're, I'm selling this house and I'm going to move down to the studio and that's part of it, because I want to keep this painting. It's like Leonardo, you know, he died with the with Mona, Mona Lisa. With the Mona Lisa still yeah. at his bedside. Yeah, I mean, I think I need this thing to protect me. The whole idea of divorce and interpersonal relationships uh, and senses of connection or uh, dissolution are very much a part of what's happening in America today. He is a kind of everyman for each of us. He is really dealing with the experiences and emotions and uh, events of his own life, but they take on a quality that we all somehow can kind of understand and identify with, and they become uh, really a part of all of us. They are kind of hyper-realism. Uh, I think that fits Kent in a sense. Kent's kind of a hyper-person in, sort of, in some ways, and I hope uh, he'll forgive me for saying that. <laughs> working on this marvelous wall piece, first of all, which is in and of itself a work of art, but in fact, he's simply creating an environment, a background for what is going to be a drawing. This started out, it was originally a picture with Angie, and since she's no longer available, uh -huh. I'm gonna make it into another, yet another self-portrait. Uh, I'm gonna be sitting on the floor, naked, uh -huh. but wrapped in a blanket. You know, this is going to be PG-13. Yeah. Um, probably a whiskey bottle. And it's all going to be in, you know, it's going to be like a performance piece. Are these really parts of you? I mean, how, it's how, basically, how does this really connect to John, you? John, you know me well enough. It's basically a naked money grab. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> It's going to look Artist good, and it's going to have lots of soul. nice stuff, right? It's a great one. It uh -huh. works really well. Uh -huh. so, sure. Oh, well. Now, this, today's project is to jam all these photos. And it's painful. I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, geez, like, here's, here, we, here we were when Angie was a Girl Scout leader and, you know, yeah. up at Lake Okaboji and uh, just... Uh, but it's a memory, the, the Christmas tree, always a good one. There's Angie on her wedding day. Wow, that's where it all started. A little Adam is in there. Look at this. Angie and Adam in the field of grass. And these are my kids, you know, they're my kids. They're my stepkids, but they're the only kids I got. And I just, I'm fascinated with seeing them when they were tiny. These could be scenes of Mars or something, or some alternate reality. Because mm -hmm. my life with Angie is like on Mars now too, you know. It's all part of the same weird, dysfunctional, disjointed, mm -hmm. Uh, past, you know, these are just shards of some meaningless thing. I don't know. So I want to jam up all these images, the ones that really get to me, real hokey and sentimental. Um, and then uh, think about it for another week and then maybe put on some more finishing touches and then shoot me uh, and the other material that goes up front. Then, uh, my daughter and I are moving down here, so we're going to insulate all this and put uh, a wall across here, insulate it, and we'll just entomb the whole thing. Uh-huh. So it'll be buried. It'll, like be, an, it'll be a part of it. Like an Edgar Poe story. Seeing, yeah. yeah. We'll always yeah. know it's there, though. Sometimes people say, gosh, why is that artwork significant to me? It's the artist thing, and it doesn't have any relevancy to me. How would you respond to somebody like that? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. I don't worry about that because talk about art saving the world. It does save my world. It's the way I, I just kind of claw and find my way through the darkness. I mean, it's it. I can't imagine a life without making art. Joseph Campbell, one of his lectures, 
said something that struck me that, that artists are generally people who have come apart at the seams somewhere along the line and their work is an attempt to put themselves back together again or at least keep themselves maybe keep themselves back together that's definitely what my work is about oh sucker weighs a ton there it is charcoal everywhere I don't want to get it on my jacket oh. see the thing is get down okay it is February and the divorce has become final. Kent is still working on the shrine project and a new vision is emerging. He will no longer pose nude with a whiskey bottle in his hand. Now he sees himself in a different role. I'm a good actor. The role is my life. I mean, I'm playing myself, so it's like the mask in the old horror movie where they wear the mask and then they can't take the mask off and the mask becomes the face or what we were saying about acting you know it's it becomes real <laughs>